Next question is question number 2.25. Among the following compounds, identify which are insoluble, partially soluble and highly soluble in water. So our solvent here is water. We need to see which one will be more soluble, least soluble and partially soluble in the solvent. For that you need to identify the nature of these compounds. So first one is phenol. The structure of phenol is a benzene ring with an OH. Remember the benzene ring over here is a hydrocarbon. And when they are hydrocarbons, they are non-polar. And this part of the compound is a polar functional group. So when you say non-polar and polar, water here, please remember, water is a polar molecule. And when water is polar, your compound needs to also be polar for high solubility. So because this compound has both, phenol is partially soluble. Because you have also asked in the question, partially soluble compound. Next one is toluene. Now toluene is a benzene ring with CH3. CH3 is a hydrocarbon. Benzene is also a hydrocarbon. Therefore, this is not soluble because it's a hydrocarbon. And hydrocarbons are non-polar and water is a polar molecule. They both will not be soluble. Third one is formic acid. Under formic acid, it is HCOOH. Here you have a polar compound. Therefore, this one is highly soluble. Then you have ethylene glycol. You have OH, OH on two sides of CH2 chain. Now this one you have since OH, OH on both sides. It's a polar compound. Therefore, they are highly soluble in water. Then you have chloroform. Chloroform is CHCl3. It is a chlorine atom bonded to a hydrocarbon chain. And as long as it's a hydrocarbon chain, it is insoluble in water. Last one is going to be pentanol. Pentanol is this where you have a 5 carbon chain with an OH. It's a simple hydrocarbon chain here. So this is also going to be insoluble. So this way identify the nature of the compound and then decide whether they are soluble or insoluble based on whether you have a polar solvent or a non-polar solvent.